Hello, Internet and YouTube friends. It is MaggieBot. Uh, it's Saturday morning after Halloween, and we're all just kind of recovering from the long week. Uh, <laughs> I bought and got some really neat things and games this week, so none of these are ready for review, but I had to show them off. I had to show you what I got in the mail. Um, so we'll dig right in, just a few new things. Uh, the first up is from Atlanta. Omen, A Reign of War, which is from Small Box, Small Box Games. This is their Olympus edition. So that means really pretty metal money. It's kind of a rosy gold. And they really just, their art in this game, it's bananas. Uh, so you see soldier cards and locations and beautiful things. Um, so this is a myth or mythological type uh, like uses all the Roman spirit stuff uh, but the very basic you can you can tell if you've ever played a card game there are stats there are abilities voila uh, I just sometimes like to have something if it's two player cards I sometimes prefer to have something that's not magic I know a lot of people that just play magic and that's not me. I need something that will distract me from magic every once in a while. And so I've played a lot of Battle Line in my life. So this will be different, but the same in a good way. So that was first. Uh, next we did, oh, this is fun. Um, so this is Skull and Roses. It's a party game. It's a lot like Liar's Dice. Uh, you are the the head of your motorcycle gang crew, of course. And so you take your set of coasters with your name on them. This is my favorite one. This is himself. Um, and on the back, they have roses. Or if I can quickly find one. No, I can't. You have roses on the back, or some of them will have a skull. And so you have one skull per set of coasters. The game is played where you play your coaster with just your name showing. So everybody puts their, their coaster face down. And players go around the table bidding, how many coasters can I flip up before I reveal a skull? How many roses can I find? And it's really beautifully done. I may have, may have bought it early, so... Asmodee currently has the rights to make this in the States. They're going to call the game Skull. They haven't said whether or not it'll be the same art. And I would be so sad to have this game without that art. I love it. So I bought this one off eBay. And I guess at the very worst, I bought myself some very expensive coasters. But I think it'll be good. Um, the next thing that came in, oh, I got a Kickstarter reward. It says Compounded. Uh, from Dice Hate Me Games. They previously did uh, like Viva Java. Uh, and we liked Viva Java. It wasn't perfect, um, but it was good. And I'm a little afraid that this will fall into that category, but I only played the two player, and I honestly think that this is a rotten two player. It doesn't, it's not built for that because there's a lot of trading involved, and you're trying to kind of, how can I get my stuff? when when I don't have it and so that's an important bit and so the two player we ended up just kind of feeling it was a little vanilla but it has some really beautiful bits of course this is your score track which is hard to keep score on but it's it's really cool um, some of the Kickstarter rewards were even like little test tubes for your player bits and it really well done and I will wait uh, I will reserve judgment until it's on a table and being played by four players. <laughs> uh, I next grabbed oh the new the new Crossmaster packs are out. So um, the there's the Shack Attack and the Bad Boys collection, and this one is the one that people have been trying to chase down so much because it has this little cat guy on it. Um, the French. Crossmaster Arena players online get access to these in stores a few months before anyone in the state. So all the top players are running two of that guy in every list. So uh, 
very soon we'll see the United States players be able to kind of compete with them. So you either ran the cat list or the anti-cat list, and that was all you could do. Uh, I also bought me some Merchants and Marauders. Uh, this is a Z-Man game. Plays two to four players. It's on a, a little more epic side, but it's a lot of dice, a lot of cards, big old board, lots of things, and you kind of choose Merchant or Marauder. Do you want to go from port to port and buy and sell goods and deal with the locals and talk about rumors? Or do you want to build a very fast maneuverable ship and go and try and plunder from other players and from NPCs? Um, my poor game group, I we normally play pretty heavy games on my game night and we kind of save that day for that. And I brought this one out last time, so I kind of overwhelmed them with the dice. Uh, they all seem to agree that the game was well built, but not really appropriate for that group. So I will try and find some friends that would rather play it with me. But I wanted I wanted multiplayer tactics, and I wanted some dice and some ships. That's what I wanted. So I'm happy. <laughs> um, the um, kind of last but not least, uh, and I don't know how many people are going to be that interested in this, but the new Magic Commander sets came out yesterday, and so this is the second time they've done it, where they released five sets for uh, Commander, which is a different kind of Magic the Gathering. You play 100 card decks and they're singleton. It's what I play most of the time. And I'm not sure how many of my lovely subscribers play a lot of Magic, but it's a great game. It's fun to build and has lots of stuff, and it's been around for 20 years. Um, so. There is a chase set. There is one that everyone's looking for because it has this little merfolk in it. But I wanted to buy one just to build. So I'm going to build the Shatter Gang Brothers. Uh, so this is the Jun deck. It was not the most... It, it, it was not the deck that had the most cards that people wanted. But it's really fun. I'm going to make it... I'm going to call it No Girls Allowed because it's brothers. Um, we're gonna build up some Jund and put my Deathrite Shamans in somewhere and have some fun with it. Uh, let's see. I think that's all. If that wasn't enough, I also bought Pokemon, but, um, yeah, <laughs> blow, blew my entire budget. I will not be buying another game until I hit Board Game Geek Con in Dallas. Uh, coming up in, like, three weeks. I'll be there if you're there. Hit me up. But... I also will see the Essen releases start trickling in in two to three weeks. I've got a copy of Roads and Boats coming my way. Uh, Theseus, I'm going to play some Tashkalar and Glass Road, and it should be a lot of fun. CV from Grana Games, but that's definitely on the lighter side, but it looks really cute, so I've got a lot of those coming in as well. Uh, thanks for watching, and please hit me up in the comments below if there's a specific game you'd like reviewed soon. My thoughts are probably the next two games are Terra Mystica and Viticulture, but if you'd like to see anything else, anything else at all, let me know and we'll do our best to get them out. Thank you. Bye.